was 100 years ago when a small Ocean County health agency was established with a vital mission to protect and improve the health and well-being of our community. A century later, that small public health group has grown into the Ocean County Health Department. It is now the largest local government public health agency in New Jersey. 100 years is, is quite a milestone for any organization and, and to kind of get to that point um, and really to, to kind of change and meet the needs of, of Ocean County and Ocean County residents in that time period is, is really just amazing. Over the last 100 years, history will show that the Board of Health has, has really taken in and always been there for the residents of Ocean County. In the midst of the Roaring Twenties, bootleggers, flappers, and women's suffrage dominated headlines. Meanwhile, Ocean County's population creeped over the 20,000 mark. To address this growth spurt, a group of community leaders established the Ocean County Health Association. The association's first act was to hire a nurse for a new health program for school children. In that same year, it offered the first tuberculosis clinic to its residents. I really have to commend the commissioners for the visionaries they were years ago and currently in realizing that the Board of Health and being the largest Board of Health in the state of New Jersey was important to the residents of Ocean County. This new agency outlined the public health activities to be performed heading into the new decade. The new agency would provide tuberculosis care, special care for crippled cases, indigent health care, homebound nursing care, health promotion, and the control of disease. So we're always adjusting and trying to get our sense of, of what's going on and keeping your finger on the pulse of, of the needs within the residents. With the 30s came the Great Depression, FDR was elected for the first of four terms, and the Wizard of Oz ushered in the Hollywood golden years. In medicine, the first polio vaccine was developed. Closer to home, disaster struck when the historic Hindenburg airship plummeted to the ground at the Lakehurst Naval Base. These horrific images were forever fixed in the minds of people all over the world. The Ocean County Health Department was on site as part of the immense emergency response that ensued. As the decade wore on, the county was still growing. The start of what would eventually evolve into WIC, or Women's, Infants, and Children's Program, was initiated during this decade. We have the largest WIC program in the state of New Jersey helping women and children, making sure they're taken care of when they're pregnant, when they give birth, that they have the, the vitamins and the foods they need. Uh, we were one of the largest early intervention programs, helping small children that need help. Uh, no other county in the entire state does that. No other county board of health does that. In 1936, the state outlined additional responsibilities for the OCHD, including sanitation of milk, ice cream, shellfish, and other foods. Communicable disease control, supervision of the water supply, sewage disposal, laboratory services, and hygiene instruction also became responsibilities of the newly founded health department. We've always been a mission-driven organization, even as of today, and if there was a need, and if it was within our lane, we did everything that we can uh, to try to meet that need within Ocean County. By the 1940s, America was fighting on two fronts in World War II. Meanwhile, back at home, the OCHD was serving as a public health lifeline during these challenging times. The agency continued to expand its programs and services with a continuing emphasis on dental care. This awareness for attention to dental care continues to be a focus today. A number of years ago, we realized there was a major problem with dental care for Medicaid-eligible children, adults, and seniors. We turned around went to the commissioners and said, what can we do about it? We partnered up with the FQHC, by the way, the largest in the state right here in Ocean County, and two of them. It is the first time in the country that both federal, state, county dollars were pulled together to provide that service. Terrific, very, very important. During the 50s, Elvis introduced us to rock and roll, and the television set became a must-have in every American household. In Ocean County, the Garden State Parkway was completed, paving the way for the county's increasing population growth. It was in 1953 that the OCHD provided speech therapy for cerebral palsy children in the county, and from 54 to 59, a total of more than 3,000 treatments were provided. The Ocean County Health Department continued measures to keep in step. Coming out of a decade of peace and prosperity, the 60s in America was a decade of change, unrest, and most of all, growth. 
1960, the population of Ocean County more than doubled in just 10 years, growing to more than 100,000 residents. I've watched a tremendous growth, both north and south, in, in, in the county. Um, and of course, it's made us expand some of our facilities uh, for that, but it's, uh, I think we're one of the fastest growing counties in the state. The county added a community college for student residents, and for the next several years, the OCHD nursing program grew significantly. A new visiting nurse and public health care services for senior citizens was instituted. By 1969, a total of 27 public health nurses were employed by the OCHD. 1969, a landmark year. It was the same year that the United States landed a man on the moon and the Miracle Mets were the toast of America's pastime. But the Beatles ushered in the 70s by calling it quits and soon bell bottoms and disco became all the rage. In 1971, the OCHD continued its commitment to the community, embracing new challenges and naming the agency's first full-time public health coordinator, Mr. Charles Kaufman. Under his leadership, the agency became the cohesive network of health services and programs that it is today. One of those enduring programs was the implementation of the first flu immunization program. The flu clinic program, the way that's evolved, I, I think um, we don't give it enough credit over the course of the time because we have uh, reaped the benefits of, of the work that was put into that program for many, many years of the 80s and the 90s. Uh, so we have a very ri a rich and robust history of being able to provide those services in, in, in large numbers to the residents. In 1971, Ocean County experienced another growth spurt as the population boomed to over 210,000, making it the fastest growing county in New Jersey. As a result, retail food establishments skyrocketed. OCHD again addressed this change in its landscape by establishing an environmental division. One of the new division's tasks was to perform yearly inspections of county food establishments. A second mission was to develop a critical water monitoring program that would ensure bathing beaches would be safe for county residents and for summer tourists. We use the largest water testing program in the state of New Jersey. Our oceans, beaches, our, our lakes are tested throughout the entire season. Uh, no one else can say that. Um, and it's done right here in Ocean County. We take a look at the fact that we go from a population of maybe four to 500,000 to over a million during the summer. Think about all the restaurants, the food trucks, things like that, they're inspected right here. Think about the swimming pools that are inspected. We just do a great job here in Ocean County. Uh, we do testing on septic systems, we're testing on water, uh, where we don't have city water in, in these uh, locations. Uh, that's always a number one priority for us. We're gonna do everything we have to do to make sure that the residents are always kept safe. With a sudden increase in population and a continuing change in culture, the Ocean County Health Department identified and met a need creating a Department of Alcohol and Drug Abuse. We have in our drug and alcohol unit uh, going out and all the, the high school students going through some prevention programs on substance abuse. Times were changing in the 80s. It was an age of extravagance and Pac-Man. Blockbuster movie night was all the rage, so was big hair. For the health department, the early part of the decade witnessed the development of many new services. Lead, hypertension, and diabetes screening programs emerged. A senior health counseling program was implemented. A cervical cancer screening clinic began providing free pap tests, examinations, and instructions in self-breast exams. We were able to be very progressive in those trends to have the resources, the equipment, the personnel um, to be able to prepare for those items, to be on top of that so that um, we could meet the needs of our communities. 1985 saw OCHD begin construction on the Northern Ocean County Animal Facility. This new facility would provide dog and cat adoptions, reclaims, and animal surrenders to county residents. It would also implement a rabies clinic program and a future free spay-neuter program. Eventually in the 90s, a second shelter would be built. Take a look at the area about animal control. We realized there was a shortcoming years ago. Where would animals go? We create our own pounds here in Ocean County. Only Board of Health that does that. And we take sure, make sure that they have all their shots, make sure they're taken care of. And uh, while we have our employees, we do a lot of work with our volunteer. I tell you right now, the animals live very, very well in our shelters, and we, we do everything we can to adopt them out. 
we realize that, that it's our, our obligation to take care of our four-legged friends. They help us in many, many ways, and we want to take care of them. And I think our shelter is the most outstanding in the state, and I think our staff is the best in the state. In 1986, the OCHD became the first health department in the state to require extensive sampling on private wells. We held classes. We invited the engineers in with our, our uh, environmental department explained to them what they had to do, and the, the rejections have really decreased tremendously. Uh, I see some of the reports that sometimes we'll get 200 applications and maybe three or four are rejected. It also added the Intoxicated Drivers Resource Center. In 1989, an HIV testing counseling service was being offered. Within the next few years, a county AIDS clinic was established. The 90s ushered in the birth of the internet, while the New York Yankees won four World Series championships. It was another significant 10-year growth spurt for the county, with the population now over the half million mark. We are very fortunate with the staffing that we have here at the Osh County Board of Health that they keep their thumb on the pulse of the communities that we oversee. So it's not just national trends, it's, it's also our local trends. You know, and again, we, we bloom in population come the summer months, so we do bring in a lot of transient visitors that come with their own unique situations. You know, our most powerful uh, um, resources and precious resources are the youth of our communities and the sen seniors of our communities, so we need to keep on the pulse of the trends of what's going on there. So it, it is important, based on our staffing, to always keep well-qualified staffing and to have their ears out there in those communities. The new millennial began with the tragedy of 9-11 and the start of the war on terror. Throughout the beginning of the 21st century, email, Google, and social media continued to blaze new trails in technology. The world continues to see cultural changes and changes in climate that are impacting the frequency of natural disasters. All the while, baby boomers grow older, creating a population that is aging at an unprecedented rate. By 2008, the OCHD expanded its Public Health Emergency Preparedness Division. In 2009, Ocean County residents experienced an emerging new virus called H1N1. In the same year, the OCHD also responded to an emerging local measles and healthcare-acquired hepatitis outbreak. We were prepared ahead of time, and it's shown in the amount of clinics that we were able to offer, the personnel that we were able to hire in order to keep our clinics running, and the availability of the vaccine and doing the right thing with those vaccines to meet the needs of our communities and to offer as many clinics throughout the community where people did not have to travel, and we traveled to them. In 2012, disaster struck again. Mother Nature walloped Ocean County and much of the Jersey coast with Superstorm Sandy. The OCHD jumped into action responding with a medical needs shelter for residents at Toms River North High School. We had a, a medical needs shelter that was next to the Red Cross in the county doing the, the general population. Uh, we were part of a pet friendly shelter um, in the back room and then part of a donation center uh, all on one campus. People came in, in some cases they were wet because they ran from their homes, they were, they, the flood came in so fast. Some people had no clothing, nothing, just the clothes in their back. We had clothing for them. We had equipment for them to be able to take a shower. So I think we met the demand. We showed that we prepared for emergencies. Additionally, the OCHD, with the assistance of a number of national and statewide animal rescue groups, provided more than 500 pets housing and veterinary care at its new Barnegat Emergency Animal Shelter. A lot of our southern and western have uh, farms and we actually had facilities to take farm animals and actually house them and take care of them when things were shut down. By the end of the decade, the OCHD had added or expanded units such as diabetes prevention and care, access to reproductive care services, Narcan education and training, and hepatitis C and STD clinics. But just as the decade was nearing an end, COVID-19 emerged to be the largest public health pandemic since the Spanish flu crisis back in 1917. The health department jumped into action with the assistance of local public officials, county agencies, and community partners. These groups, reinforced by a dedicated volunteer workforce, 
came together to protect the approximately 650,000 year-round residents of Ocean County. 200,000 of that total made up our senior citizens community. People were panicking, people didn't know what the outcome was going to be, what the future was going to be, whether or not it was something that would affect them uh, in, in long-term you know, health care, whether it would, not, it would take their lives. In response to the immense challenge of finding a major COVID-19 vaccine site, OCHD partnered with several regional high school districts in Toms River, Manchester, and Stafford. Dozens of other clinic sites were scheduled all throughout Ocean County. After three years, more than 129,000 doses were administered to area residents. During the pandemic, contact tracing became a vital piece to mitigate the spread of the disease. In an effort to train much needed new staff, the OCHD Communicable Disease Team opened a contact tracing institute at Ocean County College. Also located at the college was a COVID-19 drive-through testing site. With the help of several community partners, testing was also provided throughout Ocean County. To provide answers to important questions, the OCHD created a COVID-19 call center for residents and healthcare workers. Some of the work that we were able to do early on with COVID, um, not many other health departments were really able to step up as quickly as we did. And uh, that's a testament to this, the staff that we have and, and the preparedness uh, capabilities that we have in, in the depth. Moving forward in time, the health department continues to provide COVID and seasonal flu vaccine clinics. The Clinic Services Unit has expanded with a variety of new health counseling, testing, screening, and treatment programs. With the population of older adults in Ocean County growing substantially each year, the continuing development of these services becomes more and more important to maintaining a healthy Ocean County community. The Child Development Services Unit offers early intervention and special child health services for the youth and future of our community. Our health educators offer disease management and programs in a variety of health prevention and promotion to schools, community groups, businesses, and individuals. Many of these programs are geared towards our ever-growing senior population. Over the last 100 years, history will show that the Board of Health has, has really taken and, and always been there for the residents of Ocean County. The, the one thing great about, about this County Board of Health, they're looking forward. After 100 years, we have come full circle. Our mission of staying in step with the changing trends and demographics of our growing community has not altered. We do now and will always continue to offer timely, effective, and quality public health services to the residents of Ocean County.